Welcome to Arcadia Part 2. Hold on a minute, something ain't quite right here. Oh, that's better. Repping the new Archeon merch. I'm loving the hat, guys. Do you like my new hat? And I'm all about the Sega style tee. So welcome to a part two of Arcadia. If you guys haven't seen part one, please go check out part one because you'll see us check out their brand new Game Boy game video. It's been out a few weeks now, but I'm just rocking it and I can't stop playing it since. So please go check out the Game Boy game and then come back to this part two because now we're gonna deep dive we're going to interview the band. Let's jump straight into the interview and see what the boys have got to say. So Archeon is a fantastic band name and I'm quite intrigued. Like, what is it about? What inspired you to pick this name for the band? Uh, it's a made up word. It's two words. It's Arc, which is like the uh, transfer of energy between two things. Uh, or perhaps the time span, like arcing time span. And Aeon, which is like a deity. Uh, like an almighty presence and being it's like the two words kind of come together to have some kind of meaning but really it's just a made up word so we appear at the uh, top of the search list when you type us into google how long have you guys been together as a band judging by looking back on photos is the only way i could tell it uh, about four years there are a couple of us have been playing in bands for longer than that me and reese have been playing in bands uh, for longer than i can remember and him and joe have been playing in bands since they were youngsters uh, so yeah, it's quite, I'd say about four years. So Zenith to Arcadia, it's a fantastic track name. So Arcadia, like what is that all about? What was your inspiration for the song and song name? So Zenith being the highest attainable point in something and Arcadia being something, uh, Stuart picked the name. He said that he liked Arcadia because it was kind of like uh, this state of utopia, but also played into the name, our name, Archeon, and also had Arcade based on the whole kind of running theme of retro games. So talking game development, like how long ago did the idea for the Game Boy video and the Game Boy game come into play? Was this after the song was written? Definitely after the song was written. Uh, we The song was written quite a while ago. We've uh, played it live a few times. What's the inspiration behind this? We had the idea that we wanted to do a video, game style video. Uh, we went through a few different ideas, having it Mega Drive style. Uh, that proved a bit too difficult. Um, and then Sam came up with this uh, idea of this program he knew. Um, it's called GB Studio. I said, uh, Oh, if we do this, we could actually make a real game to go along with it. So the game looks really, really cool. Like, it looks like you've got some skill there. Like, is this the first game that's ever been made by you? It is the first game I've made. I, I never, ever thought that I would be making a game. And I'm honestly surprised that I have. Um, as I said, it was uh, something Sam knew about. Uh, I had a go to see what the, um, the program could do. Then as I was just playing around with it, it grew and grew and eventually I, I thought uh, Sam might be making it because he knew about the program. And then I just kept going and going. And um, yeah, it grew into what we have before you. No, definitely the first game. Never thought it was gonna happen probably won't happen again. Talking music, your tunes are just off the charts, off the scales, amazing. What challenges did it present, like trying to get that music programmed into 8-bit format? I used to make games on various editors. Um, I've made music for video games for a really long time now, involved on online projects. I was using OpenMPT as the basis for the tracker music software. and it really makes you appreciate how incredible the soundtracks are for games on handheld consoles from that era because the restrictions posed on making any type of music in that program is exhaustive. There's tons of stuff you cannot do. You've got four channels to play with, one of which is for sound effects. Uh, you've got three note polyphony at most, 
So three notes at once, like you can have, you can have a three note chord, so you can have a triad if you want. So I had to skim through all of the chords. You can imagine how many chords are in one song, um, and the complexity of two guitarists playing different chords at once. Um, I mean, that could be a total of 12 different notes if we wanted to. I'd consider doing it again for the right price. <laughs> how many actual like hours or days were spent uh, developing this game? Like, I imagine it must have taken quite some time. In hours, countless, couldn't tell you. I started back in June, July time. I finished it at the beginning of January. So I think that ends up being about six, seven months. How have you guys found the experience like working together with the UK still in lockdown? To be honest, we've always worked really well with each other remotely. Another part of being in a band is being able to communicate openly. Um, I'm lucky enough to work with some really awesome minds, um, IBN especially, who I was kind of coupled up with in this project in terms of making this video and game. Um, his aptitude for design is part of his job anyway. I think he transferred his skill set fantastically when it comes to many aspects of this band, so I'm so grateful. In terms of working together in the lockdown, it's the same thing, man. We're just, I'm happy to be working with those guys remotely or in person. Uh, well, obviously rehearsals and stuff is different, but in this case, working on this, it was, it was a joy. To be reminded by him to do work was nice for a change. <laughs> Is what we see in the Arcadia video the full length of the game or is there like a lot more to it? What we see in the music video is very much a speed run. Uh, the game is much longer than the actual length of the song, which is why uh, I took the idea of putting in the Game Boy music at the beginning and a bit at the end uh, to get more of the game in extend the uh, music video past the length of the song and that uh, some of the levels are cut short i will say that um, and i did actually do a specific battle scene specifically for the music video so the battle scene at the end isn't what you'll get in the game so that's a bit longer as well makes it a bit more tense so i, I knew exactly when we were going to win but that's a secret so what can we expect from the full length game? The full game is longer. Uh, it's a fully playable game uh, from start to finish. It's in terms of games quite short. It's no Pokemon, so to speak. Uh, but from sort of level one to the end, uh, there's some good puzzles. There's uh, some fighting elements, uh, collecting items and stuff like that. The video is like a walkthrough, so you can follow the video um, to help you through the game. Is the game ROM available now and will there be a physical? Uh, the ROM is available off the uh, itch.io website. I don't know what .io means, but that's the website. Very good website actually, lots of free games on there, I've played a few. Um, and yes, we are making physical games. We did have some problems to begin with, with the first flasher. Uh, we are working on making the physicals. Gaz loves his physical games. So will this game appear in your merch store to buy? Yep. They're waiting to be labelled and have the uh, the ROM written on them. I'm in the process of clawing back some funds from uh, what we've made from sales to be able to afford a writer. Uh, the first one I got didn't do the job because of the type of board that these cartridges use. Uh, but I'm going to go for the Joey. I think that's right that uh, there's a board um, made by someone uh, called like it's, it's a, a Joey writer and it's perfect for what I need to do which is take the ROM that we've made and, and put it onto these this particular type of board because there's a lot of different boards on uh, uh, reproduction carts and so to speak. The new album what can your fans expect from this epic album? Okay this is like the 15th time I've tried answering this question now and I'm still stuck on it. I think that's the nature of having sat with it and listened to it so much. But I wouldn't want anyone to expect anything based on what I have to say about it, because everyone's ear is different in terms of how they interpret music. The arrangements are all different for each of the songs. Great, not everyone's going to pick up on that. I can pick up on that. I don't want to say anything that's going to raise up someone's expectations for it to be the best album in the world and oh it's got this and this and this when they listen to it. 
they can interpret something different. So go into it with an open mind and if you can enjoy any of it, then that's amazing. So I've got to ask the question, what is next for the band? What's going on? What can we expect? My honest answer to what's next for our band is I don't know. <laughs> we put this record out and see what happens. It's always a case with that. There's music. I've written probably about 20 demos um, that will probably, you know, only a fraction of that music is going to actually end up being used. There's stuff in the pipeline for ideas for a double EP. There's tons of stuff that we have ideas for, but that could all be subject to change. I don't know what's going to happen next. And maybe that's the joy of it. Maybe that's the bit that I like, you know, who knows? Just trying to hang on in there and enjoy ourselves while doing it, which I certainly am. If you're digging the music, guys, their new album, Cascadence or Cascadence, is out now. It is an absolute banger. You really want to go check out the new album because it's available in their merch store physically with lots of their other goods. Or you can check it out on their YouTube channel. Go over and uh, hit them up. Thanks so much for checking out this video, guys. If you stayed all the way to the end, then you must have really enjoyed it. So I guess this video really is kind of to show off more of the Game Boy game. But I guess also it is quite a lot for Archeons fans to drive up some hype and just, just get the, their content and their new album out there a lot more because it definitely deserves it. If you guys are new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Anyway, I think that's just about it from me guys, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Yes, mate.